Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be going over the three teams I used to get to Legend. Uh, it was a very long uh, journey and I'm sure many people are still grinding towards their GBL goals and I look forward to helping everyone uh, get there. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. The first team that I'll be showcasing is uh, Stunfist, Driftblim, and Skarmory. So this uh, uh, ground double flyers, pretty common strat, uh, and we're gonna be leading Stunfist into Hypno. This is a favorable matchup for Stunfist. Likely they're saying they have Focus Blast or Fire Punch, and I go straight for the Earthquake. This is a CMP tie. I'm not gonna shield the first one because the Fire Punch is they hurt, but they don't do they don't one shot. So I go for the Earthquake, hoping that they don't shield. So they end up shielding, which is uh, pretty bad for me. So. They're going to be able to reach the um, uh, the next Fire Punch before I reach the next Earthquake because it's 7 seconds to reach the second Earthquake. And then um, only... Um, I should have did one more Mud Shot there. Um, it's only like a, a 6 seconds to reach the next Fire Punch. So I'm in kind of a big trouble here. I tried to catch the Fire Punch there, but they do a really good job of at uh, uh, controlling themselves. So this is pretty bad for me. This uh, Hypno has... Uh, one confusion over the fire punch. Uh, the icy wind deals super effective damage, but uh, Amanda Buzz is really tanky. Plus, has hits for super effective uh, with the foul play. And I know this is going to be a CMT tie, so I'm really hoping that they're that they click the charge move, and then I'll be in a decent spot. But they actually, which they do, but they did make a really nice move right here by undercharging and then uh, snarling me down, which is not great. And I could come Stunfist, but what I'm going to do here is I figure my best chance is actually to farm this uh, Mandibuzz all the way down. This Mandibuzz uh, has a little bit of energy, so it pretty much dumped all its energy right there. It went one over. And then this is going to be the Fire Punch, which is pretty bad for me. I let the I let the first one go through. And at this point in time, I figure my best chance is just to Brave Bird and then hope that Stunfist... Um, is going to be in a pretty good spot to win this match. And it's actually a zoom roll. I had to switch there, uh, mostly because it was going to... I was uh, uh, debuffed. My defense was debuffed because I did the Brave Bird. I hit the Earthquake here, which is good for me. And then I hit the Rock Slide. Uh, but they're at quite a bit of energy right now, which is not really good for me. I think they're at six bubbles right now. Eight, nine... They're at nine... And I'm kind of in huge trouble right now. What I should have did here was I should have over farmed. But I really couldn't, to be honest, because they had the Ice Beam right there when we see we see him be tied to the Ice Beam. And then uh, this Mander Buzz just needs one more to be able to land a foul play. So really great play by my opponent. What I should have done was you can actually straight Earthquake and still win the matchup versus Hypno. But my opponent played really well. I should have stayed in, double shielded. I did, yeah. So that was, that was uh, definitely my fault. So this is a very tricky matchup for me right now because uh, this Mew likely has... Uh, Mew has a very favorable matchup against um, Sunfist. So so they throw the Flame Charge, and then I go for the Rock Slide. The, the Flame Charge, obviously, uh, is super effective. Not that strong a move, but um, does mean that... Uh, uh, Mew's Shadow Claws are boosted and they get two Shadow Claws in. So I'm doing a terrible job at fast move denying right now. And at this point in time, I shield here, hoping that I can get one last uh, Rock Slide off. And I let another Shadow Claw go through, which is really terrible for me. And this won't KO. So I'm racing, I'm racing. And they throw here. I'm like, okay, this is good enough for me. Uh, I'm going to Hex down with... Um, with Drifblim and then pray for for the for the best here, and they go actually go into Scrafty, which is really bad for me. I'm gonna look to hit this icy wind here, and I'm gonna throw two more and then try to catch the foul play onto onto uh, onto Skarmory. This is gonna be a debuffed uh, foul play, so I don't mind taking it. And they actually go into Swellot. I was like, what the heck, Swellot? I have. Well, I know it's move sets, uh, typically Ice Beam and Sludge Bomb, and with Infestation as a fast move. And the Ice Beam, a good deal neutral damage, it's going to do a decent amount. And um, I'm like, man, this is so weird for me. I'm not really sure how to play this. 
And uh, they actually, I'm not sure what they're, they're trying to do right now, to be honest, because they definitely should have been able to make it to the ice beam before me. Maybe they don't. Oh, maybe the second time they don't. And so I decided to switch here. And there, I could have did one more hex, but I, I wasn't 100% sure that Driftblim won CMP. And then here, I know that it's gonna, I'm going to get to four hexes. Um, okay. All right. So I got the fourth one in. This is really, um, really iffy of me. Uh, so I'm able to, I should be able to land two icy winds beforehand. If they would have power punch baited me, then uh, I would have been in pretty big trouble. I'm able to land the next icy wind and win a pretty dicey matchup, to be honest. Uh, but I was able to, to come out on top. So that's, that would end up working uh, pretty, pretty decent for me. So we go into this third game here, and it's Stunfist versus Sableye. And I do like, oh man, I, I don't know what was wrong with me today. I just let so many fast moves through. Right now we're desynced, so I really can't, well, okay. They threw the foul play first. I tried to get uh, mud shot through, I couldn't, which is really bad for me. And I, um, I thought I denied there, but because I was desynced at the beginning, I think they had an extra Shadow Claw. Cause I'm not really sure. Okay, they got an extra shot call there for sure, so they're one ahead. Um, so, but it takes them 17 turns to get to. They do a good nice job denying there. 17 turns to get to uh, three foul plays, and then we end up CMP tying here. I was like, what the heck, really? And I was really confused there, cause I only saw them get one shadow call through, but I think cause uh, I liked. Uh, by half a turn or we desync the beginning. So I decided just to take this um, foul play farm down. Um, I'm going to be left at below half health. And then here comes Govantula. And then this is really bad for me because obviously I have two flyers here. So throw the thing here. And I'm like, okay, my only win con here is they lunge me. Really, like, the only way I win is they lunge. And they lunge... And they come into uh, Tropius. I decide to throw here. I probably didn't need to throw. Probably could have saved the move. But that's fine. Chip it down. Put into Icy Wind range. And at this point in time, I need to build up a little bit of energy to debuff this Gavantula. I'm not going to be able to KO the Gavantula. Um, I'm going to throw the Icy Wind here. So I'm just going to throw this Icy Wind just to reduce the Volt Switch damage. And then I'm hoping to fast move it down. Or hoping that I could have survived it. Maybe I could have, I, maybe I could have did a Hex. And then because I had the shield and my uh, Skarmory was alive still, I uh, was able to air slash it down. So able to come out uh, with the victory there. So GG. We go to this next match. Um, oh, this is all sorts of bad for me. So I safe switch to Drift Blim, as I normally do, and they go into Nine Tails here. And what I should have done is I should have no shielded this because I could live the Weather Ball just barely and get off the Shadow Ball. And I really debated whether or not to bait here or go for it. The Shadow Ball definitely does not KO. And they end up shielding it, which is really bad for me. Well played by them. Uh, and then I'm, I'm not really too certain how to play this, so... I go back into Sunvis, and I try to get the extra much shot through, but I couldn't. Uh, so this is uh, not looking that great for me. And I throw the rock slide here. I was able to fast me to nine, which is good for me. Um, the rock slide doesn't KO. So at this point in time, I'm like, man, my only way to win here is to mud shot this all the way down. So one, two, three, four. Okay, they were very close to move there, so I kind of had to go. They go into Altaria, uh, which I can win this matchup. Um, they do a really nice job at timing their uh, throw there, so I don't get an air slash through. And, yeah, this is really not looking good for me. Um, what I should have done is I throw right away here, which is uh, honestly a pretty big mistake on my side. But I'm way too low at this point in time. And they do a nice job of just switching. And then they're just going to counter me down. And I'm not able to get to this uh, sky attack. And then I throw the rock slide. 
Um, but really, there's just no way I'm going to get to the second rock slide and then as well to be able to beat the Altaria is just a little bit too much. So I decided to let it go, and that's a good game. So really well played by my opponent. Definitely some mistakes on my side, but they, they played it basically perfectly there. Um, so we go into this next match. It's Stunfist versus Bastion, and against Grasshole, this 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 is games like pretty much over, right? There's like there's just absolutely no chance that they have uh, uh, against Stunfist and two flyers. So I throw the icy win, and it takes nine Rage Leafs to get to the Weather Ball, so I know I can throw at least five more hexes. So I don't know how many I go here. One, two, three. Four. I think I'd just go to four. Just just in case they overcharged. And I'm gonna throw the icy wind here. And then I'm gonna look to land this uh, shadow ball on Bastodon. But it really doesn't matter. This game's like absolutely over at this point in time. I'm able to get to the shadow ball. This will do like 30% to Bastodon. Because Bastodon's an absolute tank. And then I go to Sunfist. They go to Victory Bell and they start, decide to concede and that's gonna be a GG. And now the second team that I used, so I went three and two in that set. The second team I used was Shadow, Bomber Snow, Marowak, and Azumarill. I think with Play Rough and, um, okay, they go into Frostlass. Uh, oh no, they, they go into, um, sorry, they go into, uh, yeah, they go into Frostlass and I go to Marowak. And I have Play Rough and Hydro Pump, I believe, on this um, Azumarill. Shadow, Bomber Snow is certainly one of my favorites. I'm always happy to use it. I decided to go for the Shadow Bone here because the Bone Club wouldn't KO. And then I'm deciding that I'm going to double shield if they decide to shield once. And then that will allow me to come out with quite a bit of energy. Unfortunately, like, if they decide to, like, mud shot me down, like, or, like, be really aggressive against me uh, with uh, Swampert, it's not going to look good for, for me. So I decide to throw the Shadow Bone here. Throw another Shadow Bone. Uh, which will put them really low, or uh, I potentially grab the shield here. And I said switch, and I throw the weather ball, because uh, they're very tempted to get to the sludge wave, uh, but I'm just like too far ahead on energy. And this does KO, and they come into Skarmory, and that's going to be a GG. So I'm able to pick up the first uh, victory there, so that was a, a good game. All right, this one, this was a really tough game here. Uh, so this obviously really bad... Um, lead for me. So I go to Marowak, they go into Politoed, uh, which is pretty bad, because obviously Politoed now has a uh, Weather Ball. Even if I had Surf, this would be really bad for me. I throw the Shadow Bone here. I get the Defense Fall, and like I'm like, oh, I gotta be, there's no way I can play this match out stand, like standard. So I let this go, and then they have a second one. I'm able to get the Fire Spin through. It's great. Uh, exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna build up here. And I'm going to throw the Bone Club here. Oh, man, they get the second one off. This thing's so spammy. It's kind of ridiculous here, to be honest. So what I, I make a mistake here. Um, this is obviously a pretty terrible situation for me. Uh, so that they decide to shield. And then I should have I should have got to the second one there. Um, or potentially caught. But there's no way I could catch because, like, it's four seconds. Um, yeah, four seconds. So it's not like I can... Well, I can wait, I guess. I decide to bait here, and then uh, <laughs> literally any other move set, I win this game. They have Dazzling Gleam, which is so terrible for me. The Stab Dazzling Gleam just does so much damage. I decide to Hydro Pump here, and I really need to KO here. And uh, just barely doesn't KO, but I'm able to uh, bubble down. And then I really need to get out of here. Okay, so that's, that's fine. I survived one uh, Weather Ball. So I go for two. Oh, I think I go for three here. And if if I what I should have done was I should have clicked to two, then switched, and then caught the caught the weather ball. But this this game's pretty much over, right? There's not really much for me to do here. Throw the shadow bone here, but oh, there's really not too much I can do at this point in time. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get weather ball here. That's gonna be a GG. I really need to catch a move. Uh, they did a really good job in terms of timing of their throws and. Just way too spammy of, of a team, so uh, well played uh, by my opponent. And I go into uh, Bomb of Snow into here, and then I decide to switch into Marowak. 
so this is really bad for me. Uh, they got a shadow claw through, which is which is fine. Not really too much I can do there. I guess I could through like one more fire spin, but I really need to get the damage off before they potentially foul play me. It's not looking great for me. I decide um, I'm gonna I'm gonna shield once and then farm this all the way down, and then put a lot of pressure onto this uh, Skarmory. So I know I have to say discipline, so I'm not gonna throw it right away. So I'm gonna throw three powder snows and then. Uh, then the weather ball. One, two, three. No air slash through. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again. One, two, three. No air slash through. I'm like, I have to play this game basically perfectly right now. And then I make a, uh, oh yeah, okay. What do you, a shield here? Farm down? I don't remember what I do here. Oh, okay, here comes the zoom roll. I decide to bait here. I'm in huge trouble right now. And then one, two, three, four. And then I decide to switch. And I was hoping to catch an ice beam, uh, but they, they anticipated my switch, or they only have play rough, I don't know, play rough hydro pop or something like that. Um, I didn't want to CMP tie with the, um, with the um, uh, Azumarill. Because I still wanted the bomb of snow for for later as well, and this is looking all sorts of bad for me right now. I let a bubble go through, which is pretty bad for me. And I think does this KO? I think this barely uh, does it. Oh, it does KO. Okay, and I build up here. And really, I should have just unloaded here and took the risk. I don't know why I didn't throw right away. It's so stupid of me. Why did Why did I... Well, I guess I didn't take the... Did I take the bubble, I guess? I didn't... I don't know, actually. I don't think I took... Actually, maybe I did take the bubble damage. I should have thrown right away, and then I'm, like, one powder snow off. Pretty, pretty tough uh, situation there, to be honest. So, okay, Obama Snow versus Galvantula. So this is a favorable matchup in the two shield for Obama Snow. I decide to uh, focus on getting the extra powder snow in. Make sure I get six powder snows instead of, uh, of um, we lag a little there. There, I'm not sure if they got extra volt switch through or not. And the and then oh, they did a really nice job catching there. <laughs> I threw it. I threw it four. Thing wasn't like this. I featured this player before, so they knew they knew what was up. So I'm gonna be able to reach the move before they reach the blizzard. So I throw the energy ball. This is debuffed. They decide not to shield. I'm like, what the heck? Um, I decide to catch the lunge because I knew they were one, one off. Then I make a stupid move here. And I know that they're going to reach the move here. So I have no idea why I threw there. Uh, it was really stupid of me. Um... Because honestly, I should have fire spin down, and then I would have been in a much better spot. I decided to potentially undercharge, but um, it's going to KO anyways. One, two, three, four. So they're at uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they do a really nice job at counting here. So I decided to shield. Um, and I'm going to throw the energy ball here. They decide not to shield. I, I asked this player afterwards if they threw the game. To be honest, I win the game regardless. Because if they shield there, I just go straight to Azu. And then uh, um, I'd be able to reach the the play rock before they reach the Skull Bash. And then, as well, the cumulative damage would have been too much. So, feel, felt still, still didn't feel good. Because uh, I kind of wish they shielded. And then I go, I go into Azu versus um, uh, Chief Fisk here. So, I really need to maintain the swap here. So I just tried to shield the Earthquake. Shielding the Earthquake is always um, safe. Um, uh, especially since like um, that will allow me to win the two-shield matchup straight Hydro Pump. I decided to throw it right away. I did one extra bubble. Um, and I'm assuming they come back into a zoom roll here. But to be honest, this is a pretty straightforward match um, at this point in time. Like they don't have um, play rough. I let another bubble go through. I just played so recklessly today, to be honest. Um, 
I am, uh, they, they have a hydro pump here. So even though I'm down a shield, it's like basically we're, we're even at this point in time. I let another bubble go through like, uh, I don't know why. And and I believe they actually have uh, Skarmory in the back. So as you uh, double steal, doesn't matter if I let the bubble go through because they're very like unlikely to shield here. So they have Skarmory. I decide to switch here to to uh, Marowak. And this this game's over, right? Like uh, this fire spin damage is gonna be a little bit too much. They decide not to shield. I guess their only call was to potentially um, bait. If they brave bird me here. That's fine. Uh, they sky attack, um, and then I'm gonna shield here. I'm just gonna fire spin down. And their only chance was for me to bait, so I kind of kind of get what they were trying to do there. So I finished the set. I think it was like another three three and two set, and I believe this is the final team yep uh this is caleb's air slash tropius uh, double dark team uh so i really should have went to umbreon here i have no idea why i went to uh sable i misplayed this game so badly maybe because i was uh, so frustrated by uh someone potentially throwing the game for me or like i was gonna win that so i went over 100 energy here uh to try to align my fast move which is so stupid of me and they still got the air slash through so at this point in time, I'm going to throw the, the foul play. And if they shield here, I'm just going to double shield. Yeah, I'm just going to double shield here. And then I'm going to throw the return at this uh, chestnut. And man, this chestnut actually took this return. I thought it, honestly, I thought it would be able to shadow claw down if it didn't shield but I was able to vine whip me down and then I go into Tropius they go into Bastion and this is a obviously Bastion wins this match up here so they get no smackdown through there which is good for me it's seven for each one for them oh, we, but that's because we CMP tied um, and then They get one through here, which is so bad for me. Uh, so that's four, that's five. So they need, what, two more? One. Okay, there are three more. We got another CMP tie here. And I'm slowly chipping away here at them. Still a winnable game for me, especially since they shielded a foul play. Oh my gosh, I let another one go through. It's so bad for me. I'm not. I, I wasn't really that focused today. And they going to come to Chestnut, and they they're able to hit the superpower here, which is gonna deal, you know, a decent amount of damage actually. And then I know I need to get to two. And then I let another one go through. I should just commit to getting to two, and then I could have under tapped the second one. And because I let that additional Smackdown go through. They're able to get the Stone Edge off, and I'm not able to survive with uh, with Umbreon. So, well played on their side. I definitely messed up. Man, literally one. If I let one of those three Smackdowns, uh, then I would have been a really would have won that game. But that's okay. We go Tropius into Hypno. I have two better counters, so I decided to Shadow Claw. I think I watched this when I was watching uh, Kayla's video. They. Um, I'm like, oh man, if this is Hypno Double Dark, I am in huge trouble right now. So I really can't just play this out conventionally. And so I am going to shield here. And then I'm going to look to uh, bait. And I line my fast moves, throw three Shadow Claws, and then throw the foul play. I'm really hoping that they shield. And then I really want to catch a move here. So I catch the foul play onto um, Tropius. Now I'm like, I don't know if this is the right move. I'm like kind of desperate here. So they, they're going to throw here. I know it's going to be a fire punch. And it is. And I decide to throw one air slash and uh, the leaf blade. They get one confusion through. It's a decent trade off. And 
they're probably looking to confusion me down. And I'm like, I literally said on stream, the only way I win here is if they shield here. And they end up shielding, which is huge for me. Because I guess they have tons of energy. And I come to Umbreon. Umbreon can just tank whatever. They're not going to blind focus blast here. They thunder punch, uh, which is fine for me. As well, they have fire punch. There's no, they either have shadow wall or thunder punch. There's no way they have fire punch focus blast. That would be absolutely insane moveset. And then they actually have fair thorn here. So this is looking pretty decent for me. I was able to, well, actually, their Hypno is still alive there. And then I throw the foul play. This is looking okay for me. And then I'm going to take another power up here. I really just need to land one more foul play. And at this point in time, Umbreon is this much health. I'm like, I literally say it's on my stream. Oh, you know what, what am I doing here? Why did I shield there? Oh, I, uh, actually, no, that's the right call. That's the right call. Because now I'm going to switch here. And then look to Shadow Claw down. And they actually come into Umbreon. A little bit risky play here. But I throw in the middle of their Snarl. Able to land the foul play. And then able to Shadow Claw down their, their Hypno. So really, really good game there. Obviously, uh, yeah, solid game there. Pretty tough uh, counter switch to deal with. So Tropius into Castworm. This is a great lead for me. They go into um, Frostlass. I really should have went to Umbreon here. I don't know why I went to Sableye. Because uh, we, we get to lose the same pace. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build up a little bit. I'm not going to throw right away in case they decide not to shield. I do uh, one before they're able to get to the Avalanche. And they decide not to shield. So I'm like, that's okay. And... I'm gonna to look to I'm gonna build up a little bit extra just to throw off how close I am to the foul play in case they want to like overcharge or something like that. And this is a an XL. This is like a level forty one or forty two Sableye with best buddy. I'm able to survive with that additional bulk, which is fantastic. And I'm able to uh, throw the foul play here and take it out. And then this is such a bad situation for me. This is really bad for me. So I decide, I'm like, man, I'm like, I, I need, they have the weather ball here. I'm like, I need to get this leaf blade off. I need to start dropping shields here. And I need to catch the weather ball. So I'm like, I, 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 I've already encountered a Dazzling Gleam Powder Snow Nine Tails already. So I'm like, okay, thank goodness it has, uh, doesn't have charm. Um, and then as well, it doesn't have Dazzling Gleam here. So I'm not going to shield. And I throw the, the last resort. So basically my plan is here. I'm like, I got to burn this last shield with Umbreon. No matter what. And uh, these last resorts definitely chunk nine tails. And I'm like, I got to save a shield for Tropius. Because I do get outpaced by here. I'm like, here I said to my chat, Umbreon, you have to survive. And then I get the... Uh, last resort off and then I switch right away to get a little bit more energy get the air slash through and then this point in time they have to get to two weather balls because I still have a shield I'm able to get the leaf blade here really really sweaty win right there uh, but I was able to pull it off fairy in the back Ugh, man really tough uh, this is actually a, a really good battle here that's my notification for my uh, coaching session so actually I'm gonna show Okay, so again, Hypno, Hypno lead. I automatically switch. They come into Umbreon. Here, they, they, this time they switch out way faster. And they actually shield the return, which is really bad for me. Uh, so what do I do here? I um, Do I shield once? They actually let me get to the return. And... And it's actually pretty much a CMP. They, they completed another Snarl there. I knew I was able to get another Shadow Claw through. So, oh, man, they oh, it doesn't KO, which is uh, pretty bad for me. I decide here that I need to come out with energy. I'm going to take um, this Foul Play. And they're, they're overcharged for sure. Right, They're going to be able to land another one. Uh, I could have thrown the Leaf Blade there and uh, prevented that Foul Play. 
but I'd rather rather have energy. So I build up, build up, and then this is gonna be a CMP tie here. So I'm gonna throw the Leaf Blade. I could've took another one and uh, farmed down. I should have thrown a um, an air slash there. So I'm looking to catch the move, which they don't throw, which is pretty bad for me. They come to Toxic Crow. I'm up a shield. So I'm going to Last Resort here, and then I'm going to evaluate on how I want to play this. And another Last Resort with KO. I almost click on the foul play there. I'm like, man, the only way I win here is if they bait. And they actually end up baiting. Uh, and I throw the last resort here. I'm like, please don't shield. Please think this is a foul play bait. And boom, they, they let it go. Uh, but this Hypno is absolutely loaded. I, uh, I shield here. Not entirely sure shielding there was, made the most sense. And again, another confusion through, which is really bad there. And I'm like so close to the move there. They throw the fire punch here. And then I make a stupid move by staying. I really should have switched. Uh, and then I throw the leaf blade here. And I'm like, this has to KO, please. It doesn't KO. They have a fire punch and I'm like so worried they have two. I'm like, oh my goodness. I can't believe they they have another one. And they actually, they actually don't throw here. Actually before, actually, let me see. Oh, actually I'll show it afterwards. Uh, I was like, man, did they actually just throw that game for me? I'm so paranoid of people throwing games for me, which I really don't want. Uh, so this is obviously not a great situation for me. I throw the Leaf Blade here. And I'm wondering, uh, I, I probably should have switched here. They actually let it go. And then I come into Sableye here. I'm, I'm like, what are they doing here? And then I guess they built up and then switch. They built up basically t to two Wild Charges. I'm not sure why they didn't unload one beforehand. And I, I CMP tie here to the Thunderbolt. Uh, and I'm like purposely just trying to CMP tie them so that they, they don't get an extra move through because uh, I've been having a terrible luck. Um, I should have committed to the CMP tie here as well. But I actually ended up throwing one short and then they get a, I think they get a spark through, which is pretty bad for me. Um, Actually, got, I got a Shadow Claw through back, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just, let's just Shadow Claw down, right? Um, uh, if for some reason, it queued up the switch, which is pretty bad for me. And then they have Tropius of their own. I let it air slash through. Not really much I can do there because we were desynced. And get the air release off. And I get an air slash through, so we're, we're about even at this point in time. And then I'm like, I'm definitely not going to survive to get to this air release. So I decided to throw... Uh, the resisted leaf blade, which is not going to do very much damage. They get an air slash through, but I survived the air slash. We simul KO, which is going to look pretty good for me. The safe play for here for me for sure is to go to Umbreon, and they go in. Oh, actually no, why didn't I go to Umbreon? I'll go into Save Life for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. Um, I guess Save Life because I want to sack Save Life. I don't know. And then they throw the Wild Charge here. Uh, but at this point in time, their Lantern is way too low uh, to be able to do anything. And I'm able to get um, this uh, Foul Play off and able to hit Legend off of 4-1 using uh, Caleb Peng's uh, Tropius Double Dark line. Really strong team. And um, I get a Chestnut here. Hit, click on the Ultra Ball. Oh, I missed the throw completely. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm just waiting for the catch to complete or not. Or maybe I was talking with chat. I don't know. I think I was talking with chat. Asking for predictions. And and then I hit 3,004. That's great for me. And actually, let me just... I think it's this video here. Okay, yeah. this is, It is this video here. Let me just... I'll just play it from my opponent's side. This is the fourth battle here. And I was so... I They came to the chat and said, GG. I'm like, tell me you didn't throw the game for me. Uh, so this is from their perspective. They sent me this video on Facebook. Sorry for the quality. 
GG to my opponent as well. Really nice guy. So here, they decide to throw the Mud Bomb. And I don't shield. And then I throw the Last Resort here. I think they're really debating on what to do here. They decide not to shield. They throw the Last Resort. And then here, um, this Hypno is absolutely loaded. They throw the Fire Punch, a shield. They get a confusion through, which is really bad for me. Sorry for the beeping that that's my instant pot. Uh, and they have two at this point in time. So I'm like, okay, no point in uh, using this last shield. And, oh man, I get uh, confusion down, which is so bad for me. And then here I, I throw the leaf blade. And then they do a really nice job here of under tapping the fire punch. And as you can see here, they are literally one confusion short, and I'm able to to air slash down. So I felt pretty good. I'm glad that they didn't give me the win, and it was a really good battle. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for your support and helping me to get to uh, rank 10. Set out to Greenish slash Cindy, my girlfriend, for helping me out and all uh, and supporting me. I, I really appreciate her, and she's been super helpful for me on on uh, on all my content and helping me get to, to legend and then uh and so well, she's a very elite battler herself and then uh, as well thank you to my twitch chat uh, that's always suggesting sometimes questionable teams but I'm, I'm i'm always happy to use um uh teams uh twitch suggested uh teams for the entire season in order to reach the highest rank uh and yeah let me know what you think of these teams uh what your gbl goals are what are the content you want me to cover from now until the rest of season six. And again, if you want to watch my battles live or suggest some teams, uh, come watch me on tw on Twitch at twitch.tv slash King Ivy. And I will see everyone there. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.